supposed to go. Okay, I think we're live. Hello, guys. I don't know if anyone's here yet. Probably not. So we should give it like a second. I mean, yeah, I think it's a zero. I'm <laughs> watching. Yeah, I don't see the like the thing where it tells you how many people. So that's fine. <laughs> Okay, so today we are here to talk about, oh, why was I about to say Strange the Dreamer? What is wrong with me? Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. Um, that has nothing to do with Strange the Dreamer. Apparently, I was thinking about that. <laughs> and yes, I am Peyton. This is Brittany. Introduce Hello. yourself. Where are you from? From Brittany and Books. No <laughs> channel. I made that thing to be Brittany and Books. Yes. Channel. Link down below for those oh, of thanks. you who haven't subscribed yet. So mm -hmm. basically, we are here today to try to be good hosts for the mass long because we're literally terrible. We literally were like twenty minutes late. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, and this oh. book was for the month of April, right? But we yeah. both read it in May. Great. Yeah. So also awesome. the May book is Queen of Shadows. So if you want to keep up with us, try to read that book soon. People yeah. are saying hi. Someone says they're excited for this. I am shocked because we are literally the worst hosts of all yeah. time. We can't we get anything are. together. Yeah. So I guess we should go ahead and get started. I have like a whole thing of notes on my phone that I did at school instead of actually pay attention, paying attention at school. But honestly, this book, there's not that much to discuss, even though that it's kind of big, which is kind of so not big. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree. I guess it's the point of views. It made it that big. But, mm, okay, um, so the first discussion question is what did you give this book in rating wise out of five? I <laughs> gave it a three out of five stars. <laughs> yes. And is, what did you originally give it? Um, I gave it a four originally. Okay. We both have read this book before. We didn't say that. We're rereading the yep. whole series. And I originally, originally gave it a five out of five stars. And then years later, I was like, nah. Then I lowered it to a four. And then this time reading it, it's like a 3.5 or a 3.75. to I haven't decided. It's one of those. But, but the thing is, it sounds like I don't like it that much. But I got a good amount of tabs. So what is going on? I don't know. I have zero. Because I was lazy. <laughs> it's fine. I feel like you wouldn't really have much anyways. <laughs> no, there was a couple of things I was, like, considering getting off my ass to go tab. And I'm like, not worth it. <laughs> yeah. Because then you um, John it. says that John says that he does not like Air of Fire, which I already knew. And then um, Vivian said it was their least favorite in the series, which Honestly, I would have to. Yes. I agree with that, too. And it's kind of interesting because... When this book first came out in like 2015, all I remember was people. Remember 2014? Like, it wasn't Queen of Shadows 2015. Dude, let's look up. <laughs> look it up. I don't know. Oh, it is 2014. Good job. Okay. I'm so smart. You're a fake fan. <gasps> okay, uh, that was harsh. I'm just so kidding. when this came out in 2014 on BookTube, because we were way back in that age. Oh my gosh. Basically, I was just watching. But yeah. I don't know if I think I was making videos in 2014. Yeah, I, I was you because were. yeah, because I I hauled Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight and Air of Fire wasn't out yet. Okay. So basically everyone was saying this was the best book in the series. And when I read it as a solid how old was I? I was probably in middle school or freshman year. You were 13. It was 2014, you were 13. That oh my was 14. Gosh. 
yeah and i thought this was my favorite series of all time and i was like sarah j mass can never fail me like this book is a five out of five stars even though i was bored for like the whole time <laughs> and it took me months to read back then because i wasn't like a crazy reader yeah so i don't really understand oh john just says i was exposed as a fake fan <laughs> I'm sorry. I was a year off. Don't attack me like that. <sighs> Someone asked, so does it get better? Sorry. Someone Not asked, right. does it get better in the next book? Yes. Literally, Queen of Shadows is the next book. And this was my all-time favorite book. I, at least I said that for a long time. This one probably came out in 2015. So it's, I was like 14. Yeah. So I don't know if it holds up. But I always was like, this is my favorite book. Like, nobody can ever take that title. But now I don't remember anything, so I can't really say that anymore. But yeah. from memory, we both loved this book. So, yeah. hopefully. I'm hoping it's the same. Because if it doesn't, then I'm really screwed to like this series. I know. I know. Because I've always felt like Queen of Shadows and Kingdom of Ash are like the top two. They're really great. But Air of Fire was always like, hi, I'm boring. <laughs> okay. Joey is on the floor and he's just like rolling around and like having the time of his life. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's just get into it. I was going to say overall thoughts of the book, but I feel like we kind of already said that it was just okay. Yeah. Because it was just a like lot of boring. Yeah, I almost gave it like somewhere like the two star range rating. Then the ending was good enough to like bump it up where I felt like it no longer deserved to be in the two star rating. Yeah. But I'm still kind of hesitant because I gave um, Throwing a Glass a three star. And I don't know if this one was worse than Throwing a Glass. I don't know. My rating mm. system is so messed up. <laughs> it makes no sense. Oh, <laughs> one I know. three star equal another three star like they're different i feel like it's just like that sometimes like some five stars does not equal another five star yeah. like i loved it but like like for yeah. example like i gave again but better a five star but i wouldn't consider that like a favorite book of all time whereas yeah. like another book was five stars is like an ultimate favorite oh it's weird just because you mentioned it my copy finally showed up Why, isn't it beautiful it is, is it beautiful. Nice? Yeah, it is. And I pre-ordered this like months beforehand. Why is it coming so late? French toast. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love it. I'm craving French toast so bad. We should go to IHOP together. I'll travel all the way to Canada just to do it. <laughs> do it. Okay. So did you have a favorite point of view in this book? Because there were several. There was Selena, Kale. Dorian, Manon, Sorsha, Adian. How many is that? Oh my gosh. There's too many. That is too many. What the heck? <laughs> I don't like when there's too many like point of views in a book. Yeah. Like, I feel like that was the downfall of like Zenith was there were so many point of views. Yeah. I don't like it. And they weren't like very different from each other. They were all like, I'm cool. I'm in space. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel like my favorite was Selena. I feel like it's always yeah. Selena. Yeah. Like every time I was reading it, like we'd get like a Manon chapter. I'm like, I don't give a shit. And then we'd get to like a Dorian chapter. I'm like, I guess I care a little bit. And yeah. then we'd get to Selena, and I'm like, fuck yes, this is why we shine. There's Sorry, some I'm people. No, it's fine. There's some know. people. <laughs> There's some people who, like, read this and, like, they are just hardcore Manon. Like, that's their favorite. And I'm like, what? I don't get I, the point. She gets better as the series goes on. But in this book, I remember the first time I read it when I didn't know her from other books. I was so bored. And I was like, this girl needs to go. Like, <laughs> I don't care. She ends up being important, but it really like, is I boring. I remember liking her in Queen of Shadows, but I, I don't know why. <laughs> well, you didn't remember why you liked Rowan either. So I guess it kind of just, it slowly yeah. comes back to you. 
Yeah. But, also, John said that he didn't recognize half of the names that you just said. And John, why didn't you reread the book with us? Why are you just jumping in blind? I didn't even know he was going to do it with us. So thank Me you. Me neither. I'm shocked. Where's <laughs> Kirsten? Kirsten read the book. Exactly. Let me text Kirsten. Well, she gave Maybe me four working. stars. Yeah, she did. I was shocked. I know. Okay, I think my favorite point of view has to be Selena as well. She's just like, I love her. She's just so great. I, I know a lot of people hate her because she is a difficult person sometimes. But she's so interesting. Mm -hmm. She has so many like issues. <laughs> and like, yeah. just lots of different, I'm not going to say it, but whatever. Oh, uh, Kirsten is here. She doesn't she say is. anything. How dare you not say anything? Well, just ignore my Twitter message then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's funny. See, I'm so thinking about your character. I noticed. Already you. Answered. Sorry, we keep interrupting each other by accident. Um, we always do. It wouldn't be a live I show with me if you weren't like interrupting each other or having technical difficulties or I know. dying of fire at some point. I think there's like a slight like lag between us, so like we don't hear the other person talking yet, and then it happens. Mm -hmm. But uh, some of my discussion points we already kind of touched on, but like thoughts on Manon and like Abraxos and their cute little relationship. I know we don't care that much. I care a little bit more than you do because the other books, but. In this book, I'm just like, can we just get Selena and all yeah, of that? Honestly, in all honesty, I skimmed Manon's chapters after a while because I got so bored. And I'm just like, I'm trying to read most of this book in a day. Like, I read three, like, almost 400 pages yesterday. I was like. That's crazy. Been reading it. And I was just like, I do not have time to sit here and pay attention to every single word of these chapters. That was hardcore skimming it. Yeah. Not have patience. I mean, I kind of do that too. Like, I'll just start reading a lot faster. I'll miss some things. Ooh. I literally skipped whole lines. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Well, honestly, so like, that just proves that, like, Sarah J. Mass puts too many words on the page. Yeah. Some of, like, the stuff that happened with her was just unnecessary. I feel like the war games, I didn't care about that. Like, I have no was, idea what that is. Yeah, I don't think they ever like really explained that well. I feel like Manon's chapters are so underdeveloped and just random. Yeah, I think she was a you random character that came to her. Like you don't understand who she is or like what her role is in the story, and she's just there, and you're like not invested. Yeah, yeah. she mm. does have an important role, but not in this book. Yeah, when you read this book, like it feels so unimportant. Like all of this information it's is like so random and like I came out of nowhere. That's yeah. What it feels like. Okay. So what are your thoughts on Dorian and Sorsha? You ship it okay. at all. I do ship it. Do you um, really? I do. I'm sure. But not like a lot. Just a I mean, little. I do too, yeah. to be honest. I feel like there wasn't a whole lot of development yeah. with them. Like, he went to her to get healed, and then just all of a sudden he was like, oh, she gets flustered around me. I like her. And then, like, yeah, they just that started. Was kind of random. Like, there was no, like, lead up to it, just kind of, like, happened. Yeah, it's kind of creepy that she was just obsessed with him. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, like, it was like a cute little. Little thing. Yeah. Like, I feel bad for Dorian. She I deserved better. I feel like she was just a plot device to make him, Who like... Oh, we care that die plot devices. I'm sorry. To put them over the edge to finally do something. Like, yeah. when he confronted his father. But honestly, that scene where, like, she deserved better, by the way. Like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. Where they just chopped off her head, like, that line when Kale just, like, I think it was his point of view, and he said the scream that came out of Dorian like was just so horrific. And I just poor little yeah. Dorian, he didn't deserve that. One of the first times throughout this whole reread where I've actually cared about Dorian, I'm just like, oh poor baby. All I wrote in my notes was just 
poor Dorian. I'm like, I don't even have to write what that's about. I'm just gonna know. This is poor Dorian. It's really upsetting. <laughs> okay, John doesn't remember who Sorcha is. I feel like we should say before we continue. Sorcha okay. is the healer that Dorian falls in love with, and then Sorcha dies because the king murders her. Or yeah, orders he chops her. off her head because Dorian like fell in love with her, and he kind of got into the rebel cause with uh, Kale and Adian. I love Adian. We'll talk about him later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's a sweet little bean. Okay. <laughs> but he's not, though. He's, like, a murderous, like, mean guy. What am I talking about? But he, I, just, I love him. Okay. <laughs> Thoughts on Maeve or Mauve? I think it's Maeve. Yeah. Do you have Which one's that? Is that the aunt? <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> Sarah J. Math has a real issue with naming so many places and characters with the same letters. There are so many characters with M and there's so many characters with A, and I, I get them all confused. Like sometimes they'll say Arabin, and I'm like, who's that? And then I'm like, oh yeah. I get them all <laughs> um, Maeve, the aunt. I don't give a yes. shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna say anything. This is like the worst series for me to do because I have no opinions. <laughs> I know, oh, and okay. I have opinions, but I'll spoil the later books. So I'm just like, I'm just hoping yeah. you have a reaction because I'll just spoil <laughs> it, and then you never do. Uh, <laughs> like, she's kind of there, kind of a bitch. I oh, mean, she definitely is. Like, yeah, I mean, she's not really in the book all that much. She's, she's like near the beginning, and then she's like at the end. I only say yeah. it because like she comes back. It's like a thing. I feel like you could probably assume that just because the way things ended between them. She just stole her little <laughs> dude and left. Like <laughs> she stole his little dude. Her little dude. Rowan is that in reference? Rowan is not a little dude. I know. I think like one of the books has like a picture drawing of him. Actually, this like, one. what a weird way to... Oh, he's <laughs> hot. I okay, know, all the we... tattoos. Okay, we stand. Yeah, if you're wondering what this is, this is just the Barnes & Noble exclusive Kingdom of Ash, and I, like, folded it within, like, inside out. There's Dorian. Oh, There's Dorian. my non. People yeah, were mad about picture. this. Not how I pictured her. I know, people were mad about this because... They made her Asian, and I, I don't know if, like, they didn't actually... I don't remember them saying she, like, had slanted eyes. Do you? Well, you know, I pictured her as an old, frail lady. So yeah. I, <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> but I don't remember that description, so, like, I can see why people were, like... was going Obviously, I just ignored her description entirely, so... Yeah. I don't remember her description, though. I just knew what she looked like. White hair. They only ever say white hair and like gold yeah. eyes and like a cloak. And here's little yeah. Kale. That's not how I picture Kale. For some reason, I picture him with blonde hair and I don't know why. I do too, but there's My another. brain that ignores all description. Oh, I know. I typically just make it out for myself. Here's another. This is like a fan art of Kale. I mean, I like that better than what I picture in my head. I never imagined the scar to be like that big. I always thought it was like yet. a, and it has three lines. Okay, this is mm. so not important, but okay, with Kingdom of Ash, I got my copy from Barnes and Noble, but I can't remember if I. I don't think I ordered the Barnes and Noble exclusive. Now I'm mad. I want that fan art. <laughs> well, I originally I got. A I literally book. never opened that book. I just opened it up on Christmas, and I'm like, cool beans. And then I put it on my shelf. I loved that book. Like, it's so good. I feel like I have a tab on, like, every page. <laughs> my dog is barking. I know. <laughs> I'm sure oh. my dog will bark eventually, too. So it's fine. They can have, like, a barking roar. If yes. You your dog could hear it. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what, was, what are we talking about? Right. <laughs> Rest in peace, headphone users. <laughs> it's okay. 
Um, thoughts on Adian? Do you have any thoughts? Like, Adian, her cousin. I, home, but I don't know who wasn't home. Hello? <laughs> uh, don't know who that is. Is someone um, showing up? Um, Adian? Yeah. Is um, yeah. Are I'm you like, like looking for notes? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to figure out who's home. Oh. <laughs> um, Adian. I mean, you got no feelings. I can tell. You're just like. <laughs> I remember liking him in Queen of Shadows. Like I have like vague like snapshots of like him in that yeah. book. But. I didn't care about him most of the time, but anytime he thought about Aelin or like yeah. talked about her, I was like, oh, he has a heart. I like this. Oh, I know. I love those like, like really, what is the word? It's kind of like Kale, how I liked how he was just so closed off, but they have emotions within guys, like somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think- what hidden soft boys oh yeah i love those and <laughs> basically most of my love for him in this book is just because i love him in general from like all the other books so that's why yeah. so every time he shows up i'm like Adian, like dude <gasps> like are you okay like <laughs> oh my god <sighs> it hurts me like what happened to all of them when they were younger so sad We'll talk about that too. <laughs> but what are some of your thoughts on Rowan and Selena? Do you like that friendship? Or I not? think I do. Yeah. I think I, I do. At first, like you sent me messages saying, like, whoa, this dude is like, he needs to back off. Why is he so mean? That was me too. Because hey. what? Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Later on in the series, he gets better at least. He's still not my favorite character, like, ever. But I didn't remember how mean he was at first when they met. So when he was just, like, <laughs> saying the most terrible things, I was like, how is this okay? But slowly, they soften up each other. Because she was being mean, too. Just not nearly as mean. But... <laughs> yeah. I mean, rough times. I don't remember what he said that got me so mad, but yeah. I mean, I, I came around near the end. You said I like a picture, it. and I liked when she um, like got hurt or something, and so like he let her sleep in his room, and was like that was like a step in there. Yeah, the scene where she like burns out and. Mm -hmm. Like she's in the bathtub or something. Get your message. You didn't. I didn't get nothing. <laughs> Why are you home? You went to the lake. Oh. I sent you a text. I didn't get it. Oh, shitty phone. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? I always laugh. I can't help it. <laughs> When do I not laugh? I laugh no, like no. I'm that I'm that person that like in class something funny happens and like everybody laughs about it for like two seconds, but I'm over here five minutes later still laughing. And I'm trying to hold it yeah, in because it's embarrassing that I'm still laughing. It's like it's not that I've funny. Done that. Like there was one time where I just could not stop laughing, and then my teacher got mad at me. She was like, Brittany, like stop. And I'm like, I really can't. It's like I'm trying and I just I can't. Yeah. Or like I, feel I like laugh. I'm about to laugh right now. Yeah, or like I laugh in like situations where I shouldn't. Like I had a teacher in grade seven get was he was like yelling at me and getting mad at me and I started to giggle. And he's like, You think this is funny? And I'm like, No, I really, really don't. <laughs> Just <think> not <laughs> help it. Okay. Back to the stuff. What I was yeah. saying. <laughs> what I was saying. <laughs> okay. It's our brand. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So when he 
when she burnt out and she was in the bathtub and he saw her back that's like i remembered that scene and i was waiting for that moment because i feel like that's when things like, I didn't remember. switched where he was like oh this girl's actually been through some things she hasn't just been living a great life always yeah. I feel like I forgot everything that happened in this book. Like, I feel like I binge read the first three books. And so I feel like they all kind of like meshed together. And then for some reason, I thought some things that happened in this book happened in Queen of Shadows, which is weird. So, I mean, yeah, I didn't remember anything. Like, reading this series, except for like maybe Thermal Glass, has felt like reading it for the first time. So, can't I can't wait until I actually start reading them for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Did you notice the small male male relationship that was like, um, what was it at Miss Word or whatever? I completely forgot about that. I did not remember that that was there the at all. In the, in the um, kitchens, right? Yeah, it was Imris and Malachi. I think that was his yeah. name. Yeah, yeah. So I wrote it in my notes. I wrote my notes in them. Um. I remembered the characters. I didn't remember who they're like, who they were, like what their names were. But I remember characters in the kitchen. Yeah, that's what I remember this book. But like in my notes, I put that I was just like, I'm like, at least there's you know some like LGBTQ stuff in this. Like she put something in. I know it's I, still not she, enough, but yeah, I, I literally put. I wish it was more like a more prominent character. Yeah, still like at least it's there. It's like it's an attempt. Yeah, we do get a little bit more in later books for other characters, but it's still not enough. But I completely forgot about this one, so I was I was just shocked. I was like, "Oh, I didn't know this was in here." But that's mm -hmm. not good that I forgot about it. That just means it wasn't like a big Important. deal. Yeah, I like know. she didn't shine enough light on that. I feel. I know. Oh, so I just put a wonder on your shelf and I just got really excited. Sorry. Where is it? Behind you. Other shelf. <laughs> How do I not know my own bookshelf, man? It's by On the Come Up. Oh, okay. Oh, you were on the come up board. I'm offended. <laughs> well, it's just because I have it on display. I see it all the time. And I got two copies, and then I got three hate you guys for some reason. So I got a whole Angie Thomas shelf going on by accident. It's because my dog ate my book, and then I won a sign, not a signed, I won a collector's edition, and then I wanted another edition of the book that my dog ate. Why do I got something in my eye? I'm about to die. <laughs> like I can't open my eye. Dude, I didn't tell you what happened to me the other day with my eye. Like, oh my I, god, we cannot stay on track, but yeah, <laughs> tell me about why. Okay. It's a sad <laughs> story. So there's this like amusement park that's in North Carolina, which is where I live. It's like an hour away, or actually two hours from here. And me and Brett, my boyfriend, went because it was supposed to be like, oh, we're gonna spend the entire day at this music park, ride some roller coasters. And basically, one thing, the place was packed. And it was really hot, so I kept putting sunscreen on my face. I was, like, spraying it. And let's just say mm -hmm. um, sunscreen got into my eye. And I don't know if you ever knew this because I didn't realize how bad this would hurt and that it would last, like, seven hours. Holy shit. My eye was burning, to, like, to the gods. Like, it hurt so bad. Like, I felt there was, like, a fire happening in my eye. And it was to the point where it happened right when I was about to get on a roller coaster and I couldn't open my eye. And I was literally like, it looked like I was sobbing and having like a problem oh that God. wasn't like just my eye is dying. Like I had tears and this little girl looked at me and was like, and I was like, I started to explain. I felt like an awkward person in a movie, like trying to explain their life. I was like, and my eyes burning. Like, it's okay. I'm fine. It's like, don't look at me. <laughs> and basically I rode that roller coaster blind. I couldn't see anything. I was, it was not okay. No. And I had to leave after that, get some eye drops, go to Walgreens, have people be like, are you okay, dude? Like, 
are you okay? And I, like, went to Walgreens bathroom try to, like, get water into my eye. Because, dude, this was not good. It was, like, so red. I was a tomato. It was not okay. And then I did oh eye drops in a Taco Bell parking lot. And... <laughs> And it didn't stop burning until like the next day, so that was a good time. Wow, I had That's to dramatic. leave. <laughs> I had to leave early, and I was so sad because that's the dumbest when, reason. Why would it? When died? you said that something happened to your eye, I was like, oh, something happened to my eye too, but it's not that dramatic. <laughs> it's really not dramatic at all. What well, happened? I was putting mascara on, and then all of a sudden, one of my eyelashes fell out into my eyeball that had a wet Ooh. mascara on it. <sighs> That and does just, not like, sound cute. It disappeared. I don't know where it went. I don't know if I got it out or like if it just like is somewhere in there now. Oh my gosh. It's it's forever. It, wet with my hair. it like touched my like pupil and everything. I'm like, oh lord. That's not good. Did he like spread like black mascara all over your eye? I didn't I didn't see anything, but like it just like it was like on like the top and then also it was just like falling out. It was just like vertical over my mm -hmm. eye. And then, yeah. Well, that's not, not good. Okay, let's get back on track. What are we doing? <laughs> Sorry. So, I'm going to say hi. Hello, Alyssa. Hi. You missed the eyeball stories. <laughs> okay. Let me try to figure out where we were. We're talking about something. I don't know what we were talking about. I thought I knew. Oh, Malachi and um, what's the other dude's face? Emrys. We kind yes. of finished that, so I'll go to the next one after that. Mm -hmm. you, did you like Kale in this book? Because a lot of people stop liking him, I think, probably around this time. After, like, wow. out of midnight, that big deal. Okay. Um, I still don't love him, but I don't mind him. I'm not against him. Yeah, he's I think there. he's learning. He definitely, like, when Dorian told him that he can't just love certain parts of Selena and he can't yeah. like only accept certain parts of Dorian like that, mm -hmm. that really hit me. Cause it's true. And Kale's like slowly working on that throughout this. And I think towards the end, he's doing a little bit better about it. But now I'm remembering how Queen of Shadows goes. I'm not going to say anything, but he just, he goes a little bit down, but <laughs> Yeah. But like right now we're on we're on an okay level with Kale. Yeah. No but I think just from memory, whenever him and Selena meet up again, because I feel like most people probably assume they'll they'll see each other sometime again. Um it doesn't go so well. Like <laughs> I'm scared. I don't remember what happened. I know, like all I remember was like Kale man. That was some I'm I remember hating him, but I could not tell you why I hated him. I never hated him. I was just really, like, mad at him. Like, dude, come on. I remember yeah. if I hated him just because I was Team Dorian, and so I was just like, yeah. hey, I'll get out of my face, or if there was, like, an actual, like, valid reason. I feel like a lot of people hated him because of Dorian. That's a thing. But there's also straight-up people that are like, Kale sucks as a person. Yeah. But I think he redeems himself at the end of the series. Yeah, in my wrap up, I said that I was Team Kale, and upon reflection, I'm still not Team Kale. I'm still Team Sam. I know the thing is, <laughs> Macy, <laughs> shut up! No, stop it! No, no, as she barks. Um, <laughs> shut up! Uh, uh, no, bye. <laughs> oh my god. I told you this would happen. Oh my god. You're fine. Okay. Okay. Stop. I like Kale. <laughs> no. I have to cut this out so much in my videos. The problem <laughs> is, is I have to open my window for my videos for a bit of natural light. And my dog loves sitting on my bed, looking out the window, watching the cars go by. Shut up. Mm -hmm. And that makes her so mad. She doesn't like cars. She loves to bark. What was I saying? I don't no! Know. Something about kale, I think. 
Yeah, I don't really remember. <laughs> We're so disorganized. It's fine. I know. I mean, does anybody really care about this? Because it's okay. It's... <laughs> Uh, we're just having fun. It's fine. Okay, I'll move on to the next point, Macy. Okay. Macy is just really passionate about air fire. Oh, yes. Yeah, opinions are heard. Yeah, she's so mad. She's screaming her feelings. <laughs> okay. What is a scene that you can't wait to read in the future books? <laughs> I told you I had to think about this, and then I didn't think about this. Dude. I can say okay. fine, at least. Okay, I'm excited to see more of Selena and Rowan. There we go. Yeah. They really develop more with their relationship in Queen of Shadows. Can you still hear my dog barking? She went downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... The thing I'm most excited to reread is, as people probably assume happens, I'm not trying to spoil, is Aiden and Aelin or Selena back together again after like 10 years. I love, just, I love them both individually. Macy, shut up! Okay. I hate this man. <laughs> I love them individually, and I I just remember loving their reunion so much, so I can't wait to read that, because they're, they're my favorite little, little cousins ever. <laughs> oh, wait, can we go back to Rowan? No, never mind. Keep going. Keep Why? Going. Keep going. Why? I was going to say I'm not gonna say oh it. yeah, don't say it, man. Don't say it. I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> We're awful. Oh, someone said my dog wants to talk too. I think so. Yeah, she has opinions, Peyton. You can't just silence her. <laughs> She's not speaking our language at this current moment, so <laughs> gotta like get some Google Translate, and then we can talk. What does it work for me? <laughs> okay, on a scale from one to ten, how much do you want to murder the king? Personally, that guy ten. sucks. Ten. I know. Like sometimes I'll forget how much I hate him, and then we have scenes like the end of the book, and scenes like the flashbacks to her childhood when he like showed up. Mm. No thanks. No, He's thanks, so but... terrible. And yeah. honestly, where is Dorian's little brother, like, in all of this? Like, he never, never shows up ever again, basically. I'm okay with that. I know, but I want to know where this little turd went. Like, where is he? <laughs> He's forever gone. Good. And, like, literally, Christine had this whole theory about him coming back. For Kingdom of Ash, and she was like so ready for it, and he didn't. He never was talked about ever again. <laughs> Rip. Okay. What did you think about all the flashbacks that we got? I'm trying to remember. It basically, I'm awful. we saw um, Aelin and Dorian. Yeah. Me, and we saw um young Aelin and Adian together. Macy, come here. Being all cute. I just love that they were like little BFFs when they were younger. But I don't really get it at the same time. She was eight and I calculated it. He was like 12 or 13. So what actual 13-year-old wants to be friend with their eight-year-old cousin to that point where he wants to blood oath to her and have her like control them. <laughs> Guess they're just that close, man. <laughs> I'll tell you. I can't relate, but <laughs> yeah, I can't relate to that either. Um, I have all these like, what are your thoughts? Questions, but little Brittany over here is just like, I, I have don't no have opinion. thoughts. 
<laughs> I'm just a person who doesn't care. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll try to master some opinions. <laughs> like, I feel bad. I'm just asking you questions. You're like, yeah, this is so great. Like, I love this so much. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take notes for this book. It's gonna be so good. The live show's gonna be popping. And then I didn't really take any notes because I had no thoughts. Well, maybe Queen of Shadows will work out better. We'll maybe. actually have like. I feel like I have notes from reading it originally, but I don't That'd know. Cool. I'm gonna grab my notebook and check. You. Yeah. You continue talking. Okay, I'll say something. Oh, I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> like, literally all of my big thoughts from this book was I saw a bunch of foreshadowing references from this book from to books all the way at the end of the series. And it's crazy since this book was written in 2014, as we established earlier. <laughs> and it was published in 2014. It wasn't written in 2014. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. But Sorry, I got specific. <laughs> it's okay. And it's crazy to me, and I just want to talk about it, but I know that some people here or some people that are gonna watch this later on haven't read further than this. I don't want to spoil it, but that's what I really want to discuss is all the crazy like, whoa, how does she do that, man? Like I don't get it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I'll just continue. I'll put my thoughts on something else. There was a okay. flashback of what really happened the night that Selena's parents or Aylin's parents were murdered, which, by the way, it gets me every time. It makes me so sad because the poor little girl, man, like her uncle, her like parents, just everybody was dying. And uh, yeah. Lady Marion sacrificed herself for Selena or Aileen. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. And I will never forget that because, yeah, I'm not going to spoil crap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. I, I just, that was a powerful moment. And Arabin, why the heck was he there at that river when Selena or Aileen happened to pop out? I don't get it. Like, why was he stalking them? Why was he there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. So I don't have notes on Air of Fire or Queen of Shadows, but I do have notes on um, A Court of Thorns and Roses. So we can compare oh. those in the live show. Yeah, that would be interesting. Those books are pretty good. I love Akamath. It's the best one. Can't I'm excited it. to reread that map because I didn't read it all in one go the first time. It took me so many like months to read it in like increments. So I'm excited to get like the full impact of it. Yeah. I don't remember. I put the uh, schedule for books in the description and we're supposed to read Akamath in November. Dang. Oh, so I know. It's okay. <laughs> Also, now that I'm thinking about it, we gave two months for Kingdom of Ash. Yeah. And I know that I'm just going to wait till the last minute to read it. And I'm going to regret oh. it. And sit down and read a ton of pages, just like I did with Air of Fire. Because I just kept putting this piece of shit off. It's like, yeah. But I, I at least think that Kingdom of Ash is a lot more entertaining. Like, literally, something's happening on every page. It's crazy. And the Barnes and Noble exclusive um, had like scanned notes of Sarah's uh, notebook when she was first like figuring out plot points, and it's just so cool to see how she like planned it out. And yeah, that book. I'm not gonna say this comparison because you didn't like it, but people compare that to Infinity War on how like all the characters come together and they're fighting the one big evil, and how like. It goes back and forth, and there's always something happening, but you hated that movie, so let's not talk about that. <laughs> I love that movie, though. It was pretty good. You over here, like, you. <laughs> you're over here, like, <laughs> I'm like the only person alive who watched it and hated it. It's 
fine. No, there's definitely other people. I saw like Dylan the reader. He was talking about like it was boring. But it was boring. <gasps> can't relate, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably at least like the Spider Man parts. I do quite like my Spider Man. I'm very I excited know. for Far From Home. Me too. He's such a pure little bean. Did you see how they went to Disneyland and he was wearing yeah. his Spidey suit? Yeah. That kills so me. Cute. Like he's such I'm a nerd. Yeah. I think I would literally pass out if I was at Disneyland and he just walked by in a Spider-Man suit. Like, what would you do? That is like so surreal. That I think I would squeal and scream and cry and um, walk away. Because I'd be too scared. <laughs> I saw someone like tweet that they happened to wear a Spider Man crop top that day. Yeah, and that. he walked by and like he did a big smile to them. And I was like, oh, when I so met Spider Man, I was wearing my Spider Man tank top. So, oh, but it wasn't that Spider Man. And also, they for the Spider Man people in Disneyland that you can meet, the butt has padding in it. So they all have a nice butt, but I didn't know that when I met my Spider-Man. So I thought that this dude just had, like, a really good butt. And so I was, like, fangirling about it for the whole day and, like, flustered around him because he had, like, this really nice butt. <laughs> and my brother said, like, the next time that he went, he, he's like, it was the same guy. They had the same butt. And then we realized that, no, they just all have butt padding in the butt. So Wow. That's I terrible. Feel, but it was very nice. It was a bubble butt. I'll send you a photo later. I remember. <laughs> Okay, I'll accept it. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you get in trouble, but. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's continue. We're slowly making our way through. I'm sorry for the torture. <laughs> I mean, there's only one person left watching. Is it me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so sad. I mean, people go back and watch these, so it's, I don't really care. Whatever, we've got each other. Yeah, that's all that freaking matters. Nobody needs to talk to us. Nobody wanted to hear our Spider-Man rant. But the yeah. bubble butt. They're missing out, man. That's what matters in life. <laughs> it's because nobody cared about this book. <laughs> like, it's not good, man. I mean, it's okay. Why am I acting like I hated it now? Nah. <laughs> like, I literally gave it like a 3.5. It's fine. It's just the other books are better. And I just been hearing you trash it, so now I'm like, oh my god, this book sucks. I'm just so harsh. <laughs> I actually hate it. I mean, kind of do, but like, oh. not as bad as you can seem like I do. You hated your life reading it. I don't think it helped that you had to force yourself to read it all at once yeah. when you weren't like feeling it. All I wanted to do was, like, read, read again, but better. Or, like, read Vampire Academy. Yeah. I still want to know what's going on with the Vampire Academy, like, adaptations. After I that don't. Facebook post, like, anything. that was such a tease. If they're never going to say anything to again. Shut up and never, never shine light on it again. I rewatched <laughs> the trailer on Instagram Live the other day. Oof, it was rough. Yeah, I, I think I probably it. cringe. So bad. That's my least favorite movie. It's my least favorite adaptation. And Julia was like, excuse me, Percy Jackson. And I'm like, no, I don't care enough for Percy Jackson. <laughs> Our Academy is the worst. Yeah. I think it could work as a TV show, but... No. They sh can't. No, don't touch it. They, they will not touch mm -hmm. my Adrian. You know, did you ever hear about, like, forever ago when they said Throne of Gospels was going to become a TV show? Like, what's happening with that? They had scripts. No, I hope it doesn't. I don't think it would work well. I don't think so either, because they said it would be on, like, Hulu. And I'm like, I don't want some Hulu TV show. Like, I think if they were to do it, it would have to be, like, HBO, like, I don't watch Game of Thrones, but it would have to be, like, a Game of Thrones level, yeah. I would assume. Honestly, I think so, because I don't want it to be, like, this is just an example, how Cassandra Clare with the Shadowhunters, it's so, like, it's yeah. not dark, if you know what I'm saying. I feel like HBO, like, would probably be the place to go to 
make it like crazy good with a sassy. <laughs> My brother is blending something in the kitchen right now, and I don't know. How if you can rude! Hear it. I heard it a little bit, but how dare he? We are obviously doing I'm, something. The blender is so loud; you can hear it from like outside up the street. Oh my god. Oh yeah, Foxy howls when the blender is on. That's so cute. Like a freaking wolf. And I don't know if she's just like having the time of her life or if it like hurts her ears or something. Don't know. (laughs) Okay, someone asked what's our favorite book of 2019 so far? It's off topic, but it's fine. (laughs) I don't know. I don't either. I'd have to look at my Goodreads. Let me at my list because I can't figure it out. Um, I've read 30 books so far. I've read 40. Dang, that's pretty good. It's all because of the booktube games. Yeah. Um, Honestly, probably I reread the whole Hunger Games trilogy uh that that probably wins for me <laughs> i don't include rereads when i talk about favorites but like it's so good and like the other ones i would include is the shatter me series but i read yeah. those um i think right now it would be one of the raven boys books i don't know which one maybe blue lily lily blue or maybe again but better or the Unbound by Victoria Schwab. I feel like I haven't really read many favorites so far this year. Yeah. Me oh, too. Queen of Air and Darkness. Sorry, Queen of Air and Darkness. Excuse me. I forgot I, that was this year. I think Queen of Air and Darkness. Geek Gorilla could work. Maybe Defy Me, since that's not a reread. Um, on the Come Up. Oh, that made me really happy. You said Geek Gorilla, and I was like so proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy we finally my agree on something. <laughs> on I know, the Come my mom, Up. When I bought it again, but better, I was getting so excited about it. And she's like, how do you know that it's even good? Why are you getting so excited? I'm like, because Peyton read it and Peyton liked it. She's like, I'll probably like like it more because I'm like more of a contemporary reader. And she's yeah. like, you and Peyton don't always agree. I'm like, we didn't like Dumplin'. Like, we didn't agree on Dumplin'. That's one thing. I'm like, oh, she up. knew. She knew about and that. Like, Every time I watch you, she happens to walk in on the one moment where you say my name. And she's always like, is she talking about you? Yes, mom. My name is Brittany. I mean, I do. I do mention you a lot. You do. I was watching your recent um, LGBTQ recommendations, and you said my name or something. I don't remember what. Oh yeah, it's because what if it's us? I said you would approve. Oh yeah, mom was like, "She's talking about you." Yeah, she is. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Or like, my dad will be in the room when I'm watching you, like on the TV, and he'll be like, "She just mentioned you." I'm like, yeah, and then he'll all of a sudden become invested and he'll just sit there watching. <laughs> oh, he watches more videos. That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> my mom knows you by name. To me. <gasps> she used to not she even still- know I existed. I know. She still doesn't remember Julia. I'll be like, Julia. She's like, who's oh. that? And I'm like, mom. Rip. Rip. She knows I'm you. Sorry. I think because of the RJ Palacio thing, because we were in the car when you told me that like you met her. Oh, and, like, I talked still got a sense of and so I was freaking out, and my mom, I think that's what my mom knows. But yeah, send me my damn sticking out, girl. I I'm will. Gonna do my I will. It's been like how many months? It's been forever. I feel bad about it, but <laughs> yet I still procrastinate. You're awful. <laughs> I, I even you. told Brett to yell at you, and I don't think he has. Oh, he, he said definitely he did. He did. Trust oh, he me. did? He's done it multiple times. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'll remember. do it. Yeah, oh my God, wait, I'm so cool. yeah, he told me I like, like, just, like ignored it and just said okay to shut me up. No, like he'll be like, you need to send Brittany the letter. I'm like, I know. Oh my God, I love Brett. Okay, I do too. Obviously, yeah, I love him because he loves you. Oh, he's working tonight at Food Lion. He's a Food Lion employee. <laughs> He's a janitor. What a great job. I don't know why this is important for you to say, but okay. <laughs> well, I was like, really you know. Well, I think I mean, sometimes I'm, I'm for good. 
I forget that other people watch this sometimes. And I'm just talking yeah. to you. Like, I would just tell someone this anyways. But... When was the last time we even mentioned Air Fire? I don't know. I don't know, but I, it's so boring to talk about. <laughs> it was boring like, for I, like, I know my thoughts on it. I was going to talk about, like, the Vogue. Like, how you feel about that? They're bad. I don't know what the that is. <laughs> it kept coming up, and I'm like, I don't know what this is. Just keep reading. I can explain it, because it's important. Sure. Okay. It's basically, they're, like, demons from another realm that, like, the word keys, the three word keys, like, pulled out or whatever. And um, they had, like... Not- <laughs> and the basically how they like they possess basically humans by like a thick or just a black ring an onyx mm-hmm. black ring or a black collar know. yeah and Dor- Dorian got a black collar and it's basically like a demon inside of them it takes over them and yeah it ends up being an important thing but the Valg has taken over the earth before but the old old queens and kings kind of defeated them for a little bit they set them at bay and they kind of come back so that's not good (laughs) and you can't they're like almost invincible they're obviously scared of fire because it literally she just killed them with it so (laughs) well that's a useful power to have then yeah that's why uh brannon the first terrazin king was a nobody, yeah. and then he became king because he had that power. He just happened to have it. And mm-hmm. people needed that because they didn't know how to kill them. And they, they like, backed away from it. Um, it. Yeah. Rip Dorian with his collar. <laughs> that mm-hmm. sucks for him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, uh, like I, I, I'm so sad about it, but I know what happened, so I'm not going to talk about it. Like, I can't theorize. That's what's the annoying part. Because people with these book discussions, if it's, like, for a series, they they can theorize. But I literally can't say anything because I will spoil it. Because I know the answer. (laughs) And I feel bad. Whoa. Okay. Some of these questions are kind of like, who cares? (laughs) You're oh, <laughs> um, well, some of them we've just touched on. There was a scene I liked, I'll talk about it, where Adian was going to sacrifice himself for Kale because he knew that Aelin kind of loved Kale. And that hurt. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why do you think that she doesn't love you, Adian? Because, come on. I think she I think it's just a little bit more. Didn't you mention that like, he just didn't want to go to her and say that, like, the captain was dead? Didn't he say that? I don't think it was that like, he didn't think that it cared about him. I think it's just that like, he didn't want to have to tell her. Yeah, the did. burden of that. Because she yeah, obviously feel- still cared about him if she gave him the eye of Elena to protect him. Yeah. Here's another thing. Is after Rowan finally got out of his blood oath with Maeve, I do not understand why he'd want another blood oath. Yeah, I didn't get that either. Like, why? why I don't see why it's needed, because... I don't know why. They're probably, like, it helps later on, I can't remember, but it's kind of just like, dude, you're free. Why do you want to instantly get yourself, even if you trust her, Dude, don't yeah. do it. Like, live your life Robin free. Is an idiot. <laughs> I think it's it awesome. does give them a connection, though. She can, like, probably talk to him, like, through their minds, even though ar- they already seem to do that. Like, how do they do that? They just stare at each other. They, they have just, these whole conversations. They just, like, assume. They just, like, assume that the person is saying with their eyes. And I'm like, no one can tell. Like, I hate when I'm reading a book and they're like, this person is saying this with their eyes. And I'm like, literally, I look at somebody and I have no idea what they're saying. Exactly. So they're having like, full on sentences. Like, if there's, like, an expression that they have, I can, like, kind of assume maybe what they're thinking. But not to, like, the extent of, like, the specific sentences that, like, Sarah J. Mass made them 
think. Yeah. Makes sense. Like, there's no way they'd be able to catch like, like all of that from like and they just do it. They do it even worse in Queen of Shadows. It's kind of like how yeah. are you guys communicating? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't understand. Um, so should we wrap this up soon or should we continue maybe i feel like we're not doing anything productive <laughs> <laughs> yeah i actually have to go somewhere after this i'm getting oh, how rude Where'd you have to so, go? i know i have to get sushi with my friend uh -huh. because we love sushi <laughs> that's our thing like we always we can't go to any other restaurant than our sushi place because we're just obsessed with it. And we found it together. And mm. whenever we crave it, we're like, sushi. Let's go get sushi. <laughs> Which so is it? What? What is this? What did you say? Friend. Oh, her name's Reagan. <laughs> okay. She's my best friend. <laughs> Oh, my best friend. You're my best friend too. Oh. Yeah. We're cute. I know. I wish you were down here so we could just do Girl. stuff. I wish you were down here because I don't want to be in no Trump land. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love, like, California in the States. I take my Canadian. Y'all don't Canadian have sweet line. tea though. Do y'all have sweet tea? I don't think y'all do. We need more in. Oh, I need sweet Some tea. Tim Austin has Tim Hortons. The person. I don't have Tim Hortons. No, has... Wherever Austin lives, he has a Tim Hortons. Yeah, I don't even know what they have. Like donuts, coffee. Is that it? Tim Hortons? Yeah. Um, they have like sandwiches and they have chili. I used to eat their chili a lot when I was little, which is weird because I hate chili. I love chili. Um, they have like breakfast, like muffins and like, they have breakfast food, but I never eat breakfast there, but I don't know what they've got. But... Like I've seen videos of people eating donuts from there and they look so good. Their donuts actually are not that great. I like their what? Timbit. Donut holes, but I don't like a lot of their donuts. To make them into Martins, and now they just get them like sent to them. And I don't know, but like the Long Johns it used to be my favorite donut, mm. and now they don't put like any chocolate icing on it. And the icing is so like sticky that if they put it in a bag, it will stick to the bag and then put some of the donut. So you have to ask Ooh. them to put it in a tin. Bag. That the icing remains on the donut. And it's sad, but I'd rather get a long drawn from 7 a lot. It tastes 10 times better. Oh. I used to get the That's hard. I would 7 Eleven donut every morning. And a hot chocolate. Or a croissant. Croissants are good too. Ooh, I love croissants. Okay, I feel like we should wrap this up because we, we don't really have anything else to say. <laughs> We're going to be talking about croissants and donuts. <laughs> yeah, I'm really hungry now. I will end yeah. this off by saying that Queen's Shadows is actually the book for me. So if you're able to read it with us, try to do it. We'll have a live show hopefully sometime in June. We normally do it like the first few weeks of the next month. Cause I'm going to read when I come back. Maybe. I'm not stacking. Let's hope we like it. I'm actually trying to read a contemporary in between. I don't I don't think you've read it. Let me get it. It's This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. Yeah, all right. I'm not reading anything, but I'm going to pick up Vampire Academy, and me and Kirsten are buddy reading that. Zane. I still need I'm to read I miss Mason. Oh. You should reread Vampire I know. Academy and read Buzz. You said Buzz you Lines. said Mason. I don't know who that is. Like, who is that? Oh, <laughs> Rose's best friend at the school. He's got like orange hair. Dude, it's been too long. Like, I can't remember. When we go off of live, I'll talk about it, but I don't want to spoil anything for Kirsten. Okay. Well, I guess we'll end this off, guys. Sorry that we suck so much. <laughs>
<laughs> thank you guys so much for watching let us know how you feel if you're watching this later on when it's uploaded to youtube and make sure to subscribe to Brittany. it's linked down below because why not she's great <laughs> okay okay bye, bye.